Today we're going to be discussing what Jim Cramer just said about SoFi stock and much more. Let's get into the video. Hi everyone, my name is Zach and welcome back to Finance Bro. Before we get into the video, I'd like to ask you guys to please leave a comment of how many shares of SoFi you have and how many you want to have. And then also consider leaving a like and subscribe as it really helps with the growth of the channel. And if you guys are interested in investing in SoFi stock and you have not made an account with public yet, what are you doing? You gotta get your free stock that could be worth up to $70 when you deposit any amount of money on the platform with the first link in the description. You're going to be able to see our portfolio, um, a 10 stock long-term portfolio on public.com as well as just follow along to why we are investing in stocks on the platform so go ahead and follow its finance bro on public today with all that out of the way let's get straight into our stock for today which is going to be sofi stock you can see here that sofi technologies is sitting at about fifteen dollars and eleven cents and we're going to go over the technical analysis at the end of the video so if you guys want to see that then go ahead and wait till the end of the video uh, but yes we are um, down to fifteen dollars and eleven cents and we were down four percent today um, yesterday we were up a good amount I believe we were up um, about five percent at one moment but ever since then we have sold right back off um, as for a rating uh, public actually gives them a 1.3 so a buy rating um, and then price targets currently have um, a target of $27 for SoFi and then $28 on the high um, for what analysts think SoFi will be at um, by next year. If we take a look at stock twits, you can see that SoFi currently has 46,000 watchers and that has been going up pretty steadily. And then at the end of the day, as you can see here, the volume was going up uh, right at the end of the day. So that is very good. Um, and overall, you know, SoFi, while it's down today, we still have a lot of hype around uh, the stock in general. Now let's get into what Jim Cramer just said about SoFi stock. Uh, so on Jim Cramer's Mad Money, this is basically where he talks, uh, gets you know different stocks told to him, and he gives his opinion on those stocks. Uh, so basically, what he said, if we come down here, we can see that on SoFi technologies he was quoted saying this he said frankly i don't understand why this stock is where it is i think ceo anthony noto is doing a terrific job um, i think at 15 dollars you buy the stock i think you just go buy it so that's exactly what he said um jim kramer has this stock as a buy i think that's what could be kind of driving this after hours little shift in um uh, the stock's price uh, but going into tomorrow this could be very very positive especially with the um, catalyst that we're about to talk about in one second all right so here we are on investorplace.com we have an article uh, from investorplace.com uh, from Brendan uh, Rerick. Uh, he is an assistant news writer and we can go over it. So fintech stocks, one big catalyst has a firm pay safe and SoFi stocks gaining today. Uh, so this isn't a direct catalyst to SoFi, but it is something that made it run yesterday. Uh, so it seems like fintech stocks are uh, as a class are some of the biggest winners of the day yesterday obviously is what they're talking about the big acquisition by jack dorsey and his fintech giant square is uh, catalyzing sympathy gains around the entire industry so what is going on in the corner market today so most of the gains stem from yesterday's deal between Square and fintech giant Afterpay. It used to be on the OTC markets. Um, Dorsey's um, fintech play is acquiring Afterpay in a $29 billion deal. The deal is yet another confirmation of the increasing popularity of buy now, pay later um, finance services. Uh, these services are becoming increasingly popular in the US after finding popularity already in Europe. Uh, particularly, they tap into a younger audience who are much typically much more skeptical of traditional lending services. Uh, so basically, the reason that this is making, um, uh, you know, SoFi and PaySafe and um, Affirm run is because it's kind of validating or confirming this thought that fintech is the future um, of you know this investing space and that is why SoFi is up today. So other uh, fintech stocks outside of the BNPL uh, space are also elevating today with investors becoming bullish on fintech as a whole with the news and increasing popularity of the space. SoFi stock is finishing the tra trading session on an uptick, uh, uptick gaining 2%, it was up to 5% at one point yesterday. So overall, SoFi gained on this catalyst that, you know, it kind of just uh, confirmed the fact that, uh, you know, somewhere or some companies can be a acquired for $29 billion. 
Uh, but yeah, so it kind of just made everyone like, okay, FinTech is like really that crazy good and the growth is going to be there for years to come. All right, and now we can go over to TradingView to talk about some technical analysis on SoFi stock. So obviously we have talked about this a lot. SoFi was doing great and then they sold off over the past couple of weeks. And then ever since then we have been kind of consolidating, although there has been volume at times, but we have been consolidating for the uh, past week-ish. And I think we have found um, some great support and resistance levels. And the next place that we are going to be going is going to be very telling of where this stock is gonna be heading in the next couple of weeks. So let's go over this. We can see uh, that I drew some lines here. Um, and this is going to be very, 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 very important. Uh, so right now, obviously, we just hit a 30 RSI, which means we're pretty oversold and we're sitting at about above $15. We have a very, very, very strong support here at the $14.50 level. Now, we really do need to stay above this support line at $14.50 if we want to see a, um, a bullish trend start. If we can break above this resistance here at the $16.75 level, then I think we will see a bullish trend start. So basically this is the same uh, situation that AMC was in a couple of weeks ago. I think we have found a bottom. I think $15, or sorry, $14.50 is the bottom for SoFi, um, but we're gonna have to see. If we break below $14.50, I think we will be in a bearish trend. If we break above $16.75 first, then we will be in a bullish trend. Uh, so yeah, these are our support and resistance lines. And then obviously we are pretty oversold on the RSI, so I feel pretty uh, strong going into uh, tomorrow, even though we had a bad day today. And then we're about to start a trend back up here on the MACD, as you can see. Uh, so yeah, that is what you guys need to be watching out for. Resistance line at $16.75. If it breaks that, we're in a bullish trend. Uh, support line at $14.50. If we break that, we're in a bearish trend. Um, but yeah, I completely expect us to break that resistance before we break that support. So I think we will be in a bullish trend here. It seems we have found a bottom with SoFi, but what do you guys think? Uh, make sure you comment your thoughts down below. If you guys have any questions on SoFi or any other stock for that matter, go ahead and leave a uh, comment down below and I'll try to get back to as many as I can. Uh, and also make sure you comment how many SoFi uh, shares of SoFi you have and then consider leaving a like and subscribe as it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. But that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Consider turning on post notifications on so you never miss a video. But my name is Zach, and I hope to see you in the next video.